Hey guys, it's Merlini analyzing the odds for the November 19th play day. And we have five matches for today. The first two are from the Dota 2 Champions League, which are both best of threes. The first one is something that we've seen quite a few times this past week, Liquid versus Fnatic EU. And Liquid have just dominated Fnatic. Um, best of one, best of three, it usually doesn't matter. Liquid just has their number. And I think the odds are about right for this 70-30. It might be a little bit more in favor of Liquid, the true odds, maybe like 72-28, but it's not that far off. There's not too much value in betting on Liquid here. Fnatic is still a good team. Uh, I didn't get a chance to watch the best of one yesterday, but after judging the previous week's performance from both teams, Liquid just looks a whole lot stronger while Fnatic is like slowly back on the path to contention with tier one teams, but they're not quite there yet. And until Fnatic has like a really good performance, whether it be a win or a loss versus T1 team like Alliance, Navi, or Liquid, then I won't be betting big on them. Um, here I'll be betting on Liquid or not at all. The second match that we have is Alliance versus Sigma Int, and this is the most lopsided matchup of the day. Around 6 to 1 odds if you just look at the rares, maybe a little bit more. And betting on Alliance in a best of 3 versus underdog, usually a pretty safe bet. Sigma Int is a very consistent team. They rarely overperform, they rarely underperform. Um, I usually know what to expect from them. However, I think the odds are definitely off, and this is for a multitude of reasons. The first one is that Alliance just came back from Korea. They were playing in the Nexon Invitational versus DK and other teams um, just earlier this week, and they should be more concerned about MLG than the Dota 2 Champions League, considering they're already first place in Dota 2 Champions League, and MLG is way more prize money. Um, so they'll probably be practicing for that and worrying about the competition there rather than something like Sigma Int. I mean, Sigma Int is going to be at MLG, but is it something that they're really worried about? Probably not. Secondly, uh, we haven't actually seen too much of Sigma Int in the past couple of weeks. They did play Mouse and lost 0-2 just a couple of days ago. Uh, that was a show match. But it's really hard to gauge how strong Sigma Int right now just because I haven't actually seen them play, like just actually watch them and analyze their play. So I'm like, and no one else has either. So I'm a little bit skeptical of how uh, quote unquote weak they are. Thirdly, they have a ton of talent on their team. Paz and Feta, they were on Mouse when Mouse was showing some really good results. Feta is a really strong solo mid, and Saksha, Bucky, Mad, and Miggle have been playing competitive for quite some time now, and they do play against T1 teams a lot. I don't really fancy the odds here, at least not for Alliance, so I'm either going to bet small on Sigma Int or not at all. Uh, crazier things have happened, and after the Rock's Kiss fiasco, thank goodness I only lost four rares there, um, I'll be... Uh, I've learned my lesson, and this is nowhere near as safe as the Tongfu Rattlesnake uh, bet yesterday. That was like an 82-18, I believe, or 84-16, somewhere around there, very similar to today's. And that was a best of two, and this one I just feel much more uncomfortable with betting on the favorite. Next one that we have is Nabi versus EG, best of one in the ASUS Dream League. And D2 odds, D2L odds are around 70-30. My own personal odds are probably 65-35. EG have been plagued with connection issues recently, and so I'm not actually sure if this game is going to be played out. Um, but Navi, they were really under the gun um, just this week when they were playing in the Tech Labs. They lost their first game in a best of three versus Power Rangers. They dropped a series versus Empire, a best of three, and they also dropped... Um, one game versus Empire in another series versus them. But Navi eventually pulled through to win it all, and they just seem to do really, really well when they're under pressure. And are they really under pressure here? They're under a little bit of pressure, but not under the gun. Uh, they are fifth place right now and only the top four advance. VP is four and six, Navi is three and four. They do have three games left. If they go to five and five, I assume they automatically will advance. However, um, they are 1-1 one, one versus VP. I don't know how the tiebreaker works. I actually looked on the site, couldn't find anything about it. But they're not actually down to wide because they could technically lose this, beat Alliance, beat Liquid, and have a guaranteed fourth place standing. So at least fourth place standing. So I think they're like kind of under pressure, but not like very, very last minute. And if they were like three and six right now and they needed to win this to go into a tiebreaker to go to the playoffs, yeah, I would bet on Navi. But that isn't the case, so 65-35 in favor of EG are my odds. I'll probably be betting small, maybe large on EG, depending on how I feel. And it's the best of one, so you have to take that into consideration. Upsets are more likely. Next game that we have is Liquid versus Alliance, and these odds are definitely off. Um, I think that Alliance is strong, and I think that Liquid is really strong too. Uh, it should be probably be closer to 60-40. My true odds, I'd say, are 42-58 in favor of Alliance. And... 
yeah, Alliance did beat DK 2-0 the other day, but they are not like super, super strong right now. And I think Liquid uh, currently is stronger than DK. It's a best of one, two. Finally, final odds will uh, certainly depend on Liquid's and Alliance's performance earlier in the day, but as it stands, definitely betting on Liquid. Last but not least, we have Alliance versus Fnatic EU. Uh, I think these odds are fairly accurate too. Alliance looking decently strong, not super strong, but just decently strong. Fnatic EU looking pretty weak. My odds maybe like 72, 28, just very close to what is actually here on the screen right now. And looking at the last three matchups between these two teams, first one was on November 6th, where Alliance beat out Fnatic 2-1. Alliance also 2-0 would them that same day, and Fnatic beat them 1-0 just two days prior to that on November 4th. However, this was when Fnatic was on their hot streak, and really they haven't been showing signs of high potential lately. I'm definitely going to wait until the odds settle and uh, see if they're off. It will probably change after these other games are played out. Fnatic here, Alliance here, and Alliance here. Um, as it stands right now, I'm not going to be placing a bet. Could be an underdog day. We'll see further into the day. About 14 hours from now, um, I'll probably be placing a bet on one of these two teams. So keep posted to the uh, Reddit thread, paste it into the description of the YouTube video. Thanks guys for watching. If you like my videos, you can subscribe to me at youtube.com slash I do an odds analysis video every day. Thanks guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow.